I'm CJ Casey. I'm a senior here at Trinity High School and I am in the Ivy Art Program. The Ivy Art Program is a two-year college level course that Trinity High School offers and there is nothing like it anywhere else. Come and follow me as I show you around. So our senior Ivy artists have explored many different topics, genres, mixed medias. Julia here has explored collage and if I show you over this way. We have various topics that include not only nature, but social, economic, individual issues that our artists have explored. Over here is Julia's exhibition, and she focused on what it means to be a young woman with autism in today's world. And she focused on hyper-realism, and she also did some new cartoon styles and using dots as well in her work. If we come over this way, we have Jaylene who can talk about her exhibition. Hi, my name is Jaylene, and this is my showcase. Um, one of the things that I try to express is what it's like growing up. Um, I do this by um, putting some figures that I like when I was really small. I also uh, portray some still life, uh, things from my culture, like the Dia de los Muertos. I try to portray that and here's a timeline of things. Uh, one of the things uh, that I was really scared of coming here was uh, using color and I I was encouraged by my art teachers to use more color and it allowed me to really find myself. Um, I use color to portray my emotions um, and, and follow me this way, there's a bit more over here. I'm gonna show you my exhibition, but across from mine is Fiona's. And Fiona has a similar theme to Jaylene, and she wanted to show the progress of growing up. So she has some t-shirts that go from her grammar school all the way up to high school, and she portrays common issues that children feel while they grow up. Over here is my exhibition, and when I first started Ivy Art, I was never this expressive and creative. I really stuck to acrylic on canvas. But as I grew as an artist and was encouraged by not only Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Costello, I found out that I loved mixed media. So I've become one person that loves to use glitter in their work, something that you don't really see that often. Over here is Delaney Burns, and Delaney has one of the only interactive pieces in our entire exhibition. So she wanted the people that viewed her exhibition to be able to interact with it, open things up, look around, and her theme talks about being in her own little world. Over here is Kyla's exhibition. She's gonna talk about it a little bit. Hi, this is my exhibition, which is focused on finding connections between nature and humanity. I've always loved nature, but what I wanted to focus on here was showing how nature is something that can be personal and connected to every single person. And so that's why I tried to portray a variety of people through my work, or just bald, fairly simple figures like this, so that anyone could see themselves reflected here. And so I tried to show a whole spectrum of experiences, from sadness to anger to joy, just to things that everyone shares. And I also developed this motif of the anatomical heart. I never expected I'd use that before, because before I came into the IP art program, I mostly focused on drawing my own characters, but I never expected that I'd be exploring all these different types of mixed media. And so my anatomical heart idea really came from my digital design class, and you can see it appearing here, or in some of my other art like here to show the universe of human experience. And I also loved combining the sun and moon to show both the day and the night of people. And I drew myself and my orchids, which are some of my favorite flowers in this one piece. And I was just really thrilled to see how much my art developed from using different lines and colors. If you don't mind me asking, Kala, can you explain what your mural means to you and how you got its original idea? Oh, well, sure. So one thing that was very personal to me about my mural is that I lived in India for a short time. And one thing I loved about that is the idea of being able to see the same sun or moon as someone on the other side of the world. And so I wanted to show this idea of people being connected through their roots, that's why I drew them into the trees, and being able to see the same sun and moon from different places, showing the connection between everyone. And like you were mentioning earlier, Kala has many symbols that flow throughout all of her pieces, so the sun and moon here, the sun and moon there, and her anatomical hearts. 
All right, let's keep going on this way. These are our IB art teachers, Mrs. Costello and Mrs. Smith. They're gonna take it from here. Hi. I'm Kim Costello. I'm the Fine and Performing Arts Department Chair here at Trinity High School. And as you can see, we have the most amazing students here. I'm getting teary just hearing them talk about their artwork. I can't, I just am so proud of them. The, my biggest gift is to get to come here every day at Trinity and see them build their confidence through the creative process. It's like learning a whole other language, the visual language, and it's just the, the best way to spend anyone's time. Um, we just heard back from the Illinois High School Art Exhibition that um, is a scholarship contest as well and our 19 IB artists earned three million dollars in art scholarships from colleges all around the country so it's just so amazing to see that they are just able to express themselves in such an amazing way whether it be a social issue or with their emotions or what's happening in the world or just saying who they are um, and saying their stance in the world is just such a gift Hi, I'm Christy Smith, Trinity class of 92. Um, also one of um, the art teachers here. Uh, my two daughters uh, also attend Trinity now, a senior and a sophomore. I just wanted to thank you all for continuing to support the arts here at Trinity, whether it's um, coming to the art shows that we have, um, coming to our performances. This month we have a lot on tap with our play next weekend. Um, we have a dance concert coming up, and of course, um, our beautiful Ivy Art Exhibition. Thank you.